Hey y'all, welcome back to my Black History series. If you haven't already, click that like button or hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any of these videos during Black History Month. And feel free to comment and share what you know about these figures that I'm sharing about. Today we're gonna to talk about Claudette Colvin. Have you heard of her? She was actually before Rosa Parks and would not get up off of the bus. And so, Here's what's so interesting about Claudette Colvin. So she was 15 years old when she decided not to give up her seat on the bus in Montgomery. And she was really upset about segregation and what was going on. And in fact, one of her friends was put to death for an innocent flirtatious gesture, apparently, according to this website I was looking at called Americans Who Tell the Truth. I'll put the link in the description box. But anyway, this flirtatious uh, gesture toward a white girl caused her friend to end up being put to death. And so Colvin was really like fired up about this and about what was happening in terms of segregation. She was a very studious child, wanted to grow up to become a lawyer and fight for civil rights. So in March of 1955, apparently she says that she recalls this, that I felt like Sojourner Truth was pushing down on one shoulder and Harriet Tubman was pushing down on the other and saying, sit down girl. And she was glued to her seat and didn't get up. And so she was taken off the bus by two white police officers. And she was really, really afraid. So the uh, result was that she was charged with violating segregation laws, of course, and resisting arrest and all those types of things. And so all of this made her feel like she wouldn't be able to go on to get the education that she wanted. After this, though, of course, the African-American community, the Black community was outraged. And so Dr. King, Martin Luther King Jr., came to Montgomery, to Montgomery to fight her arrest. And people who were leaders in the civil rights movement were trying to figure out how to end bus segregation. And so they were looking at Claudette as a potential face of the movement. But because she wanted to see it like come really quickly in terms of like justice, and because people felt like her complexion was too dark, ain't it crazy? And that she was too young. And she had got, just gotten pregnant. I, I don't know if she got pregnant before this happened. Or if she was like showing during the whole thing. Or if it happened after when they were like thinking of her as a potential person. Whenever it happened. She ended up getting pregnant. So with all those things in mind. They didn't think that she would be a good face for the movement. So they ended up choosing Rosa Parks as the face of the movement. Because she was educated, she was older, she was lighter skinned, all those things. And she was already um, a part of the civil rights movement anyway. That whole thing blew my mind as I was reading about it. So Miss Colvin's story doesn't end there. Um, you'll have to read about it. Definitely Google it. Comment. Share this post. You know, make sure that people know about it. But don't forget, before Claudette, I mean, before Rosa Parks, there was Claudette. Colvin and she was really like the one that got this whole thing started with the Montgomery bus boycott.